when you first meet a narcissist, it feels amazing. They love bomb you and you feel good. You feel like it is your soulmate. They're on a high with you and they believe the love bombing is real. They are so convinced that they can be happy and be this person that they are not. Deep down they're unhappy, have low confidence and insecurity. But in that moment of connecting with you, they believe they can be a different person. They believe they can sustain the love bombing. They believe they can be someone different. Unfortunately, like with any relationship, you have to go through real life. People experience real life problems. It is only then that you realise that the narcissist is someone else. You realise how much disconnection they have with the real world. You realise they cannot connect with your real life problems and emotions. They have no empathy and you see someone emotionless. It could take many months to reveal this mask, but the real life problems and the emotional support you need is going to be needed. It is only then that the narcissist is tested whether they can give you that or not. Narcissists will run away, avoid you, make excuses, blame shift, devalue you, just so that they do not have to give you emotional support because they do not know how to give this. When you see this pattern of behaviour, it is then that you realise that the narcissist cannot love bomb you like how they used to. This begins to come in small drips and drabs. You no longer feel that high either, but crave the love bombing. This then turns into a trauma bond where you become so trapped in the cycle of love and abuse.